So by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I can take a PDF document like this and turn it into a marketing video that looks like this. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to go to synthesia.io where you can set up an account to create your own AI videos. Now, once you're signed in to Synthesia, you're going to want to go to the top right hand side and select new video. The option we're going to take is right here in the middle AI video assistant. All right, let's set up our video. The first thing we can do is to select a template, which is available in Synthesia. You can see some of the options here. I'm just going to select content marketing. Next, what I want to do is specify this as a document. And from here, I'm just going to drag that PDF file that I previously showed you into the small box to upload. So while that's uploading, now what I can do is consider the length of the video. You can see this says five scenes. Let me just change that to three scenes. And I can fill out as much of this video information as I want. So let's start first with the objective. Next, I can add other information on here like the audience, the speaker, the tone, that sort of thing. But I think this looks good for right now, so I'm going to select generate video. And in just a few moments, you'll see the text in the video appear on the right side of this window. All right, so if I don't like what was generated, I can always generate that again. And then the Synthesia is going to give me three new scenes, but I like how this sounds, so I'm going to select Continue in Editor. And this is where I'll have the option to change some of the visual appearance of this video. So if I click on the background, you can see that there is a replace button. And now I can select more of a fitness background. I'm going to go to images and I'm just going to search Shutterstock for fitness. Okay, a few kind of good options, but it's not quite the gym that I want. So I'm just going to go and do a search and type in gym. And maybe something like this. Perfect, I'm going to select that. Of course, once I export that video, it will remove the watermark that's on there. Okay, so I've got my background. Another thing you'll notice is, th is that there's a spot right over here for your logo. So from here, I'm just going to do replace image. And this time, I am going to go to my library. I'm actually going to upload the Fitness B logo. There's our logo. I can kind of put it right over here on the screen. But the thing that I really like about Synthesia is you have the ability to change this avatar. So let's say I don't want this man who kind of looks like a business casual um, kind of avatar that's on here. I could maybe check for an avatar that maybe one that looks a little bit more sporty. Let me take uh, let's take this guy right over here, Jack. Okay, I'm going to change Jack in all of our avatars. Now I can also change his voice. So if I go over to the side, this will give me some options for different sounding voices. And I can preview by just clicking this play button. Hey, fitness enthusiasts and wellness warriors. Are you tired of investing your time and energy? Hey, fitness enthusiasts and wellness warriors. Are you tired of investing your time and energy? Okay, so I think this sounds good. I'm going to apply this to all of our male avatars, which is only one in this case. Now scene two are here and scene three. I'm just going to kind of leave these the way they are. I could always go back in and change this background. And actually what I'm going to do is just maybe remove this text because I can always change the color of it, but I kind of don't like the text on the screen. I don't really think we need to do that. I'm going to make our Fitness B logo a little bit bigger here. And then I have that copied. I'm just going to paste it right over here. I'll paste it right over our logo as well. Perfect. If I wanted to, I could put the Fitness B website here, but I think this is going to be set. The last thing I want to do is just to check the background music. Now, if I select off of my slide, you can see right over here, it's showing me the music. This song is called Real Love, but there's a number of different music tracks that are available on here. So let me just go ahead and do a search for energy. Now I can go through and listen to all of these tracks. I'm just going to take absolute energy. I hope that that one sounds good. All right. When this is ready, I can go to hit the play button. And this is going to generate hey, a preview. Fitness enthusiasts and wellness warriors, are you tired of investing your time and energy into being healthy but not getting any rewards back? Guess what? 
There's okay, so you can hear the music. It's a little bit low in the background. I think that sounds good. You may have noticed that the avatar's mouth doesn't move. It doesn't happen until you actually generate the video, which I'm gonna do right now. So let me go ahead and select generate. You can see the title. You can add a description if you want. I'm just going to select generate. There's also a way you can put captions at the bottom of the screen. So once this is done, we'll go ahead and take a look at our finished product. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes or so when it looks like our video is now ready. Let me go ahead and click our video and we'll be able to watch it in just a few moments. Hey, fitness enthusiasts and wellness warriors, are you tired of investing your time and energy into being healthy but not getting any rewards back? Guess what? There's a new ally in town named Fit. Okay, so you can see a little bit of this. I can add the full video a little bit later as well. But one of the things when you played it back, one of the things I noticed when I played it back, it sounded like we had to put a couple pauses in there. That's something that you can go back and do once you edit this video and then just export it again. So this is just one example of some of the things that you can do with Synthesia. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this content, it would be great if you could subscribe.